welcome to the class. In this class, we will extend our discussion on percentage increase and decrease with the help of this example. On the right side of the screen, I have written some of the basic concepts of percentage increase and decrease and its corresponding multiplying factors. We have already discussed this basic fundamental of multiplying factor in our previous classes. Here in this class, we will recall some of the important points of multiplying factor, as we know that it saves our time during calculations. We know that for a particular percentage increase, there is a corresponding multiplying factor. With the help of that, we can calculate percentage increase of any value. For example, to calculate 10% increase in any value, we will multiply that value by 1.1 to get final value. As 1.1 is the multiplying factor of 10% increase. Similarly we can calculate other percentage increase. Now to calculate percentage decrease in any value, we multiply that value with its corresponding multiplying factor. That means, for 10% decrease, we multiply initial value with 0.9, multiplying factor of 10%, to get the final value. Similarly for other percentage decrease, we multiply the initial value with its corresponding multiplying factor. Let us solve this example. First of all read this question price of a food article is increased by 20% and so, a housewife reduced its consumption by 10%. Then what is the percentage increase or decrease in the expenditure on that article? We all know the basic relation between price, consumption and expenditure that is, expenditure is equals to price multiplied by consumption. To solve this kind of question, we will use the same methods that we have used in our previous class, that is, to calculate the area of rectangle. We can use these methods of calculation in all the cases, where we have to multiply the value at right hand side, to get the value, at left hand side. Now, we will solve this example by applying the unitary method that is method 1. In this method, initially we will assume price and consumption as 1. When we assume price and consumption as 1, then as per our formula expenditure will also be 1, that is 1 times 1 is equals to 1. Now as per question the price of food article is increased by 20%. So we will have to multiply the initial value of price by 1.2, multiplying factor of 20% increase. That means the price of food article has now become as 1.2. Now, the question says that the housewife has reduced its consumption by 10%. That means, for 10% decrease in consumption, we have to multiply the initial value of consumption that is, 1, by 0.9. 0.9 is the multiplying factor for 10% decrease, so our new value will be 1 times 0.9 is equals to 0.9. Now, the new price is 1.2 and, the new consumption is 0.9, so our expenditure will become as 1.08 that is, 1.2 times 0.9 equals 1.08. Simply looking at the value of expenditure. One can say that there is an increase in expenditure that is from 1 it has now become 1.08. Thinking in term of multiplying factor we can directly say that there is 8% increase in the expenditure. As we know that for 5% increase multiplying factor will be 1.05, similarly for 8% increase it will be 1.08. Otherwise, we can calculate this with the help of conventional formula. The percentage increases is equal to the difference between values divided by initial value and then multiply it by 100. Now, we will solve this example by applying the second method that is method 2. In this method, the initial value of the price and the consumption will be considered as 10. Putting these values in our formula, the expenditure will be 100 that is 10 times 10 equals 100. As we know that expenditure is equals to price multiplied by consumption. 
As per question we know that there is 20% increase in price, so our new value will be 10 times 1.2 that is equal to 12. And there is 10% decrease in consumption, so new value of consumption will be 10 times 0.9 that is equal to 9. Putting these values in our formula, we get our new value of expenditure as 108. Just by looking at the initial value and the final value of expenditure one can say that there is an 8% increase in expenditure. So by calculating with both the methods, we get the same answer that is 8% increase in expenditure. So we can apply any of the methods to calculate the value. We will discuss more questions, which will be based on the product constancy, in the next class.